I've got the Redmi K30 Pro right here, also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I want to show you how to fix almost all Bluetooth connection issues that you may be having with this device. I've been doing tutorials for Android for a while and one of the most common questions that I see pop up is how to fix Bluetooth connection issues. Whether your device is throwing up an error whenever you try to pair some Bluetooth headphones with your device or if you're just not seeing the device show up at all. I have a few ways that you can try to reset everything and get it back to normal without actually having to lose your data. Now the first is to go into settings and actually just try to unpair and repair the Bluetooth device. So we go into Bluetooth, we make sure that Bluetooth is on. You should see your recently paired device on there or the device you're trying to pair. And if you see it is set as saved, even though we can't actually connect to the device, we can tap on that little arrow to the right and go into the details of this. So whenever you tap on that, we have the ability to rename. We can choose some settings specific for this, but we have an unpair option right here. So the first thing to, I recommend is to unpair the device you're having an issue with and then try to pair it again. What, however, you activate the pairing function on your Bluetooth device, go ahead and initiate it and then tap on this refresh button right there and you should see the device pop up so that you can pair it properly. However, even still, I know some people are going to be having issues connecting Bluetooth devices to the Poco F2 Pro. So if you're still experiencing these type of issues, the next thing that I recommend is going back into the main page of the settings app. Look toward the top and you should see a connection and sharing option. And right here, we're going to have a lot of different things that have to do with Wi-Fi your VPN, DNS, N NFC, all this stuff. But if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you should see an option labeled reset the wireless LAN, your mobile networks, and Bluetooth. And we can tap in here to get a little more information. What this is going to do is going to, it's going to reset all of the network settings that comes with our wireless network, our mobile data, and our Bluetooth. So when it comes to Bluetooth and wireless, whenever we reset this, we're going to need to add our Bluetooth devices again, and we're going to need to add our wireless networks again. However, the mobile data should reconnect automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure that you know by resetting this feature, we're going to lose all of our saved wireless networks, and we're going to lose all of our saved Bluetooth devices. But I've seen this fix Bluetooth pairing issues for many people on Android. So we just go ahead and tap on that reset button down at the bottom, tap on OK, and that's going to reset our network settings. Now the last thing that I want to recommend is by actually deleting all of the cache and the data for the application that's in charge of dealing with all of the Bluetooth connections. It used to be labeled Bluetooth Share, but eventually most devices just name it Bluetooth. And to do that, again, we start off in the settings application. Once we're open up the settings, we're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see the apps option. And we have a number of options here as well, but we're gonna just focus on the manage apps option. And this gives us a list of all of our applications that we have installed. As you can see, we have Bluetooth right up here at the top. 
However, if you do not have it listed there, you can sh sort by status and sort it by app name. And again, we can just scroll down and we can see the Bluetooth option right here. When we tap into that Bluetooth app, I mean, this is basically just an app that you would install from a Play Store, for example, but it's installed as a system app and it is responsible for handling all of the Bluetooth stack. From here, we have two, th or we have some options here. We have a force stop button, we have a disable button, and then we have a clear data button. What I like to do whenever I'm having Bluetooth issues is first go ahead and do a force stop. We need to stop the service just to make sure that it's possible that the service, the process that was handling that app, just got hung up. Happens a lot with computers. Sometimes things just freeze. So doing a force stop is a great way to stop that application process from running so that we can continue with the troubleshooting step. With that done, I then recommend you that you tap the clear data button. And you're going to get two options right here. We're going to get a clear all data and a clear cache data. Now the clear all data should technically clear the cache data as well. I just have a habit of selecting the clear cache option first and then selecting the clear all data option. And that actually will pop up if, if you have cleared the cache data. The only thing left is clearing all data. So that's why that changed to clear all data. And that's it. That deletes all of the cached and stored information that the Bluetooth share application stores pertaining to your Bluetooth devices. With that done, I recommend just go ahead and do a full reboot that way Android can reboot, set everything back up again. It's going to detect that that Bluetooth application no longer has any data, no longer has any cache data. So it's going to optimize and rebuild the information needed there. And that will allow us to boot back up into Android, turn on Bluetooth if it is currently disabled, and then try to pair that Bluetooth device to our Redmi K30 Pro again. And there you have it. That is how to fix most Bluetooth connection issues on the Redmi K30 series. That means the entire series, the Redmi K30, the Redmi K30 Pro, the Redmi K30 Ultra, as well as the Poco F2 Pro smartphones.